The Indianapolis Colts are in desperation mode as they head to New England. They take on a Patriots club that may be last in their division, but they're back to Jerry Seinfeld land, even Steven. Rush is coming. Wilson intercepted. Picked off by Bentley. New England comes in off another good defensive performance, but it's their defensive blind spot the Colts should theoretically try and exploit. They have Jonathan Taylor, 76 yards, 4.8 per carry last week. We know how good JT is. Are the Colts desperate enough to go spinal tap amp with him? Turn the Taylor volume knob up to 11. 10 carries first game back from injury, 16 last week. They ready to go like 25 with him this week? Here's Taylor breaking free. Pick up a 27. Patriots did play the run well versus the Jets, but they have not handled the run well in 2022. 4.8 per run allowed. Here's Fields now, trying to answer, gets a block out on the edge. Yeah, really good job. New England, they didn't contain. The Patriots want to force Indy to throw. Their defense is coming off a three INT game, held Zach Wilson to a sub-70 rating, one of a few teams holding QBs to a sub-80 rating at the semi-halfway point of the season. Wilson flicks it downfield and it's intercepted. Picked off once again. McCourty! Patriots take on another young QB in this one. Sam Ellinger made his first NFL start in week eight. Completion rate over 70. Yards per attempt high eight. Rating over 100. He held his own. Lost it down the sideline. Over the shoulder grab by Naheem Hines. Oh, a tremendous throw here from Sam Ellinger. Receivers of choice weren't any different for Ellinger. Pats DBs need to try and contain Alec Pierce, 53 yard per game type of guy. More importantly, Michael Pittman, Colts target leader, 75 yards per game in 2022. Now a play action pass. Ellinger, good strike. And once again, Pittman, well, he and Pittman are finding an early rapport here in the opening quarter. The red flag. Pittman, 53 yards last week, two weeks in a row under his average now. New England's offense, balanced approach. They've been most efficient when they hand to Ramondre Stevenson. Week eight, 71 yards, 4.4 a run, averaging 4.9 a carry in 2022. Handling the contact and then breaking away is Stevenson. A 35 yard rip. He will have a tough time against the Colts. They are top five in yards per carry allowed, just four per attempt. 3.4 allowed last week against the Commanders. But they're going to go back to Gibson, and Gibson, it's a yard, maybe two. So if they force the action to the passing game, I guess it's Mac Jones. 73.1 rating for the year, that's not good. Week eight, under 200 yards passing. 5.5 on average per throw, rating under 80. Got bailed out on what appeared to be a pick six. And he is gone! Touchdown! Personal foul. Rough in the pass, their defense number 91. In week eight, Jones was mostly tossing to Stevenson out of the backfield. Eight targets, seven catches. Jones lets it go, and it's caught. Big gain on the grab by Stevenson. But his go-to is Jacoby Myers. 12 targets last week, nine receptions, and a TD. Open man, catch made. Myers is in. Touchdown, New England. That 6.7 yards per catch is a little troubling. Hard to say how often Stephon Gilmore matches up against Myers based on how he moves around in the formation. Gilmore got beat last week for what was the game winner, basically, covering Terry McLaurin, so not coming off his best outing. Colt's skills against the pass, like my grades in college, below average. Taylor Heineke made that clutch throw against them, averaged nine yards per attempt, put up a rating close to 100. Heineke over the middle, and that ball is caught. On the year, New England's QBs haven't faced a lot of pressure, but Jones was sacked six times against the Jets. Protection holds up initially, ball pops free. He got hit on the play, and New England jumps on it. Colts pass rush, Yannick Ngakwe has four sacks, DeForest Buckner picking up his fourth in week eight. Colts not dominant, applying heat, but those two guys are threats. And dragged down, DeForest Buckner, who has just been playing sensational. Jones versus Ellinger, maybe it could evolve into Manning versus Brady. I could also start sounding like Morgan Freeman. Hey, don't kill my dream, man. Just enter your predictions into the comments section with your keys to the game so I have something to read this week. Here are some scores for you to read.